Hello, this is Oherakyo here with a new mini-series, sort of, about pistons, because recently I've been hearing a lot about them now that they've gained the attention of the developers, and so I've been looking for a bit of solutions to some of the common problems people have been, uh, well, suggestions people have been giving for the game, and one of them is light switches. Now this isn't really a light switch so much as two light buttons, or a light and a dark button but I found that pistons work really well for controlling the light. You see, pistons can't block light, however they can move the blocks that do block light. So, I flick the light switch, and suddenly I have light from the ceiling, from the floors, from the wall, and it's pretty simple. Press that, everything goes dark again. So what's happening here is I have redstone wire going from each button. This one's going up, around, and onto this piston, which is then pushing this stack of blocks. Oops. It's then pushing this stack of blocks, which has a glowstone where a bit of glass is positioned. So basically, it's right now covering that glass, and once the switch is pressed, or the button is pressed, it will activate the piston, which will move the stack, and position them above the two pieces of glass. And over here, we do a very similar thing, except we're moving the glass itself. So we just have a block that's placed in front of a torch and this moves that block and the glass that's next to it so that the torch is visible. And then down in the floor <coughs> you can move posi you can position individual lights by simply having a miniature version of what we have above which just in involves having a block to prevent light from escaping up into the floor and a light source, or glowstone, to actually provide the light through the glass. So what we have going on when we press the switch is that everything is sort of moving at once. You see? So now down here, the glowstone has been positioned under the glass and up top this has been repositioned so that the glass is now visible or the torch is now visible through the glass and the same thing here where the glowstone are now glowstones are now visible through the glass and the ceiling so it's all very simple, easy to do, and um, you can move up to 16 blocks with it, so if you need a lot of light in an area, it's fairly simple. So I'll probably be doing a bit more about pistons, because I have quite a few ideas, so this is just a start. See you next time.